Hey everybody, uh, this is Brian, and I want to talk a little bit about uh, Qt and C++. And basically what I wanted to cover instead of writing code is um, different aspects of the Qt community. Uh, what I've done is I've made some of these videos, and admittedly I'm not an expert in either C++ or Qt. I'm still learning both, and neither of them are my native languages. I'm actually a C-sharp programmer by trade. I just like learning other things, and I'm really falling in love with the Qt, and I, I hate to call it a framework because I've been corrected, it's a library. And what I found is that when you find someone who knows more than you, you should generally pay attention to them because you can learn from their experience. So what I've gone and done is I've gone out to the uh, Qt Developer Network. It's uh, developer.qt.nokia.com slash forums. And you can learn a lot from these people. I've been kind of reading the forums for a long time and searching, and you know they've been answering some of my questions. And I broke it down, and I actually went out and I in the Qt Education. I actually posted it in general, but somebody moved it to Qt Education. And wow, there's my post right there. And I basically said, you know, I made these videos. Please review and give me any feedback. And I've gotten some just awesome feedback. I mean, people are really helping me out here. So they, they've kind of gone through and said, okay, you know, video one, video two at this time, at this time. And I've got permission to take these notes and put them right in the video comments. So I'm going to make kind of a a dynamic errata, if you will. So I'm going to go through and just copy and paste into the comments. I don't want to do annotations because I think they really distract from the video and I personally don't like them. So um, I just wanted to take a moment and thank everybody who's kind of pitched in and and done this because I have, you know, a kid, a job, a girlfriend, and very limited time and resources to do these videos. It's just kind of in my spare time. But um, I would implore you to go out to um, developer.cute.nokia.com slash forums and there is another one out there that I posted to if I can find a link to it really quick here uh, yes uh, www.cutecenter.org um, that's another very good forums and actually let me open that up so you can see what this looks like here so that's what the cute center forums looks like and it looks kinda kinda weird but yeah I said you know I also posted in the official but yeah, I've gotten some good feedback out there too. So um, kudos to everyone who's really helping me out. I'm learning a lot from just the feedback alone. I'm learning a lot from my mistakes. And um, it's always good to learn from somebody else. Don't ever take somebody else's criticism personally because you're learning from their experience. They've already made the mistakes and they're, they're telling you, hey, you know, wake up. You're going to make some massive mistakes. And what a couple of people have pointed out is I've made some very glaring mistakes in the tutorials. And hopefully... I'll find the time to fix it, but until then, I'm just going to post the notes in the comments and we can all kind of learn together. Um, another thing I thought I'd mention is uh, Nokia actually has some official video tutorials and it's cute.nokia.com slash developer slash learning slash online slash training and they've got all these videos out here. Uh, I think Mirko Brum is one of the instructors. I'm I think his name's Torbay. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name fully. It's been a while since I watched these, and they're a very good starting point. I learned a lot from watching these videos. Um, my only critique of their videos is they're coming from somebody who's fairly proficient with C++ and Qt, and it kind of my eyes started glazing over on a couple of them because I had absolutely no clue what they're talking about. But um, I recommend you also go out there and watch those videos as well. But um, I just wanted to thank everybody for your feedback, and I will go over as much feedback as I can. It's going to take me time and I will post comments and links as much as I can and keep making videos and hopefully not make any major mistakes. So uh, thank you for watching and thank you for your feedback and those of you following the Qt tutorials, I beg you, go visit those two forums and you can learn a lot from everybody in the community.